for some animals out there. The best offense is a good defense, and remain hidden for a while can allow for a predator to get even closer to their prey. Other animals rely on their camouflage to remain hidden, and hopefully no one will eat them. From an insect that closely resembles a stick, to polar bears blending in with the snow, here are animals with the best camouflage. Hey guys, how's it going? Are you ready for another Mysterious American Eye video? Caterpillars There are many birds out there that would love to get a hold of a juicy caterpillar. They seem like easy targets because they can't move too quickly. This one here doesn't want to become anyone's next snack and blends in well with its leaf. Avoiding hungry birds from above is never easy, and the more it can resemble a leaf, the less of a chance of getting eaten. Probably best to stay away anyways. A Pygmy Seahorse it might be slightly impossible to find a pygmy seahorse when they're hanging around branches of coral like in some of these photos. Being small can sometimes be an advantage against predators, but when you're small and you blend into your environment, just hope that the predator doesn't have a good sense of smell. They're typically found in Southeast Asia and near Australia, where coral and algae reefs are present. A Stick Insect What better way to defend yourself from predators than pretending you're a stick? No one wants to eat a stick, do they? Stick insects are quite strange, but they're mostly used as pets by science teachers or people who just love bugs. More than ever, people are keeping these small insects in glass containers and keeping them as pets. These peculiar insects are about 3 to 4 inches long, or 7 to 10 centimeters, and some can grow larger than you see in this photo. Astonishingly, they can live up to 7 years in the right conditions. These bugs can thrive in an environment rich in plants such as ivy, bramble, or even lettuces. If you're considering getting one of these, keep in mind, they do get lonely and need a stick bug companion. Consider getting two or three and having a tall cage for them to roam around in. These are great first pets for kids since they don't bite and generally are low maintenance. The Cheetah The fastest land animal in the world can reach speeds of over 70 miles an hour in quick sprints. Cheetahs are known for their spots and yellowish-brown fur, which actually blends in quite well with the African savanna. Known for being excellent predators, they can hunt well and get close to their prey without the poor critter even knowing that they're being stalked. The spots are seemingly patterned in a way that helps them blend in with their environment. Their main goal is to minimize the distance of their chase, since they often have to get a foot race with animals like zebras and gazelle. They'll usually win the race, but their competitors can often give the cheetahs a run for their money. Flower Mantis What better way to keep yourself from being eaten by predators than becoming or pretending you're an innocent flower? The flower mantis is a certain type of insect that can mimic the appearance of flowers and isn't your average prey mantis. Not only can they blend in with their environment to hide from predators, they can also use their camouflage abilities to hunt insects who don't notice them. Once an unsuspecting insect comes within range, it's already too late. The mantis has struck them with a deadly attack. What makes them even more bizarre is that some people actually keep these as pets. Glass Winged Butterflies What better way to camouflage yourself than to be virtually transparent? These are normally found resting on leaves in Ecuador, Peru, Bolivia, and Colombia. A large majority of their wings are completely transparent, almost like they're made from glass or something. In Spanish, they're given the name of espejitos, which translates to little mirrors. These are known to migrate long distances once they reach adulthood to places like Texas and Mexico. The transparent wings are a result of low absorption of visible light and low reflection of light on the wing surface. Glass frogs these are native to the cloud forest and the rivers of Ecuador. The light green skin is transparent, allowing you to see the insides and the vital organs. The heart, lungs, liver, and gastrointestinal tract are all visible. You'd probably get a little bit creeped out if you came across one of these in the forest. The species of frog is unfortunately endangered due to habitat destruction and deforestation in the area. They often deposit their eggs along streams and rivers during mating season in many diverse rainforests in South America. Snow Bunny during snowy conditions, it's much better to have white fur than any other color and animals will use this to their advantage. You might not even know that you're looking right at the snow bunny until it runs away. This is known as a snowshoe hare and they're also native to North America. Fur hunters have sought their coats for hundreds of years. They're known to show different colors depending on the time of year too. During summertime, they can grow out to be brown. Being the major prey upon cougars and lynx up in Canada, excellent speed is necessary for their survival. Thorny Devil Dragon After taking one good look at the skin of the thorny devil, you might not be too sure if you're looking at a dinosaur, a real-life dragon, or a rose stem. These extremely unique creatures grow about 8 inches in length and inhabit the deserts of Australia. If you were a predator, you'd probably be afraid to try to eat this thing. It appears to be in a serious need of some spot treatment. 
The skin on its body is also quite unique. It consumes water by having it seep into its skin, and all they have to do is brush up against morning dew or desert plants to drink. Their diet consists of roughly 3,000 ants per meal, and they might eat up to 10,000 a day. When approached by a dangerous threat, it exposes what's known as its false head, which is the back of its neck, which actually doesn't look too appetizing either. Giant Leaf Tail Gecko Luckily, animals that are well camouflaged don't tend to run away as quickly, at least in this case. It makes it much easier to take a photo of them, but that doesn't always mean it'll be easy to find them. This photo here was taken by a biology student in Madagascar. The leather of this lizard blends extremely well with the color of the bark. It would be sure to spook out some people if they didn't notice it until it was right in front of their face. The Camel Spider This isn't an insect because it has eight legs, but it certainly deserves an honorable mention on this list. No one gets a worse reputation than the Camel Spider. Many believe that it crawls down a camel's mouth, eats its stomach, then crawls back out again. Interesting claims, but they're not true. This thing doesn't have any toes, just long, hairy legs. If the thought of a spider that eats a bird bothers you, then you might have a reason not to like this guy. These desert dwellers do enjoy a large meal, but they aren't too harmful to humans. A bite will certainly be painful due to the extremely powerful jaws, but they don't have any venom. They do, however, use their spit to liquefy the insides of their prey. Satanic leaf tail Gecko Indigenous only to the island of Madagascar, their tails exhibit a high degree of similarity to a leaf. This makes them extremely difficult to find, and they're also pretty small too. Illegal harvesting of the gecko has made their numbers decrease in recent years, but they still live within protected areas. There are several zoos across the U.S. that house the satanic leaf tail gecko for protection. Another notable feature are the red satanic eyes. They were actually considered to be a mythical creature up until 1888 when a European explorer finally found them. Toads Being able to blend in with a similar color such as foliage, this toad isn't standing out too much. The main difference between frogs and toads is that toads often have much drier skin, which is often bumpy in texture. They're often spotted around big lakes and ponds and seem like a ball of leaves if you're not looking too closely. Some may be poisonous or give you hallucinogenic effects, so you want to watch out. It's not something you want to take home as a pet either. Canyon Tree Frogs These amphibians spend much of their time on land as well as in the water, so they have to find a way to match the color of their surroundings on land. The canyon tree frog has colored and patterned skin to match the rocks along the creeks where they live. They can also hunch into a ball, so they can appear to be just like a rock. Luckily, no one eats rocks, so this guy should be safe. Polar Bears Partially thanks to their amazing camouflage, polar bears are able to remain as apex predators in the Arctic Ocean. Females can weigh up to 1,100 pounds while being 8 feet tall. Male polar bears are also dangerous, and even their own cubs aren't safe. When seals are scarce, especially in summertime, sometimes the only food source left is their children. Unlike other species of bears, polar bears are completely carnivorous, meaning that they'll only eat meat. With fewer resources to hunt, polar bears must be extremely proficient when it spots a potential prey. They are excellent swimmers and are known to be able to catch seals underwater. Since human developments, especially in places like Russia's Far East and Northern Canada, infringe upon polar bear territory, attacks like this one can happen and are still rare. Luckily, villagers are able to scare them off sometimes. The Eurasian Eagle Owl The Eurasian Eagle Owl is considered to be the largest species of owl, and it's quite majestic. Females can grow up to 30 inches with a massive wingspan of 6 foot 2 inches wide. It's distinguishable by its ear tufts which kind of stick out, and they have striking orange eyes. These actually aren't quite as rare as you would think. They're generally avoided by hunters because of their nocturnal actions and because they help control the mouse population. The Eurasian Eagle Owl is considered widespread across Europe and Asia, and as the name would apply. This thing could also be big enough to swoop down and snatch your kid, so watch out. And number one, the leaf bug. There are various types of leaf bugs that will make you wonder how it can look so much like a leaf and still crawl around. Your face is right in front of an insect, and you better watch out. Okay, luckily, it's just on your screen, but this bug is so well camouflaged, you need to be warned. Bugs shaped like leaves have a better chance of surviving in nature and therefore have a better chance of reproducing. That means they can make other creepy leaf bugs like you see here. Imagine yourself hiding only a few feet from something that is trying to eat you, but it doesn't even realize that you're chilling right next to it. If you're able to spot the antennas, then you found yourself a leaf bug. Whoa, now that was a cool video. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.